MJ Rodriguez joins us now at the table because she got something to say. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> but that's your new song. We'll play a little bit about that in just a second. But congrats, number one. Congrats because you. you are making history in so many ways. And you said that you were an emotional wreck when you got the Emmy nomination. I was. I was Tell us about that. Yeah, I, so I was stayed up completely until like 10 o'clock in the morning in the south of France. <laughs> Didn't know if what time it was going to come out. Yeah. Um, I was like, I might as well record this. Whatever the outcome may be, I want to save this as a memento. And I remember my mom just hugging me, and I was screaming when we found out. That oh, here it is. Oh. Here it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, where are you? I was in um, this nice little... There you are. <laughs> where are you in the video? Yeah. Uh, that was like but, a life changing. Wow. But you know what I appreciate? I appreciate that you say that you were up watching because so many yeah. people say, oh, I was sleeping. They had to wake me up. There were so many texts. I love that you were up watching yeah. because this meant a lot to you. It did. It did. I wanted to uh, I wanted to be a part of change and I wanted people to see us as five dimensional people versus yeah. just caricatures, you know. And you called it a life changing moment just a minute ago. How did it, How is it a life changing moment? Um, it's a life changing moment when you actually, you know, come from humble beginnings, you come from an area that you would never think people would see you in or, or even notice you in, and you get to a space where people finally see you for your art and not just for uh, outside of the person they get to see you for your craft. And mm -hmm. that was so life-changing for me because I had been working as an, a working actress and a singer for a long time, so yeah. it was great. You're an inspiration now for others, but I'm curious, who inspired you? Oh, my mom. My mom is my biggest inspiration. Like, she's the person who infiltrated womanhood in my life. She's the one who raised me. Like, she's the one who just really made sure that I was diligent in my craft and who I am. So she's the biggest influence. You also called it a love letter to transgender kids. I yes. love that. What do you mean by that, MJ? It's a love letter to transgender kids because, I mean, you know, finally the door is being broken down for girls like us and young trans men out there, too. A lot of trans men don't get a lot of light, too. So I want to give a shout out to the trans men out there. But um, we don't get a lot of light. And now we finally are where the door is opening. And it just feels good, and it's for them. The next generation is key. I know you have kicked down the door wearing high heels, cute shoes too. Thank you. Very much. You know, you know what else I, I'm fascinated about you? When I was watching the show, I didn't know you could sing, and you can sing, sing. You sang a couple of times during the episode, but the fact that and the video is great. You've got something to say. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your musical career. Your singing. Well, that's because you've been doing that for a while. Yeah, that's been my main goal for a long time. It's been yeah. my passion, um, and. Me, Virginia White, Neil Pogue, and uh, a guy named John Parrish, we came together and we wrote this amazing song called Something to Say. And Virginia White from Earth, Wind, and Fire? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and I was just excited because finally my dream had been coming to full fruition. I mean, oh, there it is, my performance. <laughs> <laughs> MJ goes, yes, look at me, I look good. <laughs> look, somebody on your team said, uh, J-Lo, watch out. I went, oh. okay, drop the microphone. J-Lo, watch out. I never want to try the queen. I love Miss J-Lo, I love you, J-Lo. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I, I feel like this moment in my life is a defining one because it just hasn't happened. So I'm thankful for it. Mm -hmm. So more music to come. More music to come, definitely. And a music video just dropped. So hopefully people listen. Was your, was your mom a big supporter of your music? Yes, she was the one who was like, now when it came to my music, she was manager mom. She, she made was. It, wow. Yes. She's like, get up there and sing, girl, and make sure you put that mic up to your mouth. Don't play around. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, mom, I got you. Well, <laughs> it's the third and final season of Pose. It's over. Where does Blanca sit with you? She's always where like, is she gonna where, where 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 will she sit with you as you move forward in your career? I think Blanca's always gonna have like a space in my heart. She's always on my right or left shoulder, you know, cheering me on. Uh, she she inspired me a lot. The words that came off the pages of that show were really beautiful. So. I'm thankful that, you know, I was the vessel for that character, and now I can move on to other. You're doing something different work. now, very different. Yes. Working Tell with, us about that. Yeah, I'm working Comedy. with. Comedy. Um, yeah. I'm working with Maya, Ruda, Maya Rudolph in a new show called Loot, and people get to see me flexing my new comedy New show called what? <laughs> called what? Loot. Loot. Uh, by Maya, uh, ex, um, starring Maya Rudolph, uh -huh. and um, a couple of other amazing, amazing people, Emmy-nominated great writers and stuff, so I'm really really excited. You about have that. comedy chops too? I do. I do. America. <laughs> Hopefully they like it. <laughs> <laughs> she sings, she dances, she acts. All right, MJ Rodriguez. We're cheering you on. Emmy night, you got you, now you got to decide what to wear. I always love to see what people are going to wear on the red carpet. I have I know it already you're... set out in my head. It's just going to be a big old surprise when I get up on that red carpet. <laughs> All right. All right. Look forward to that. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for getting up early. I know what this is like. It's fun. <laughs> for for one day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're right, Tony, for one day. You can watch the 73rd Primetime Emmy Awards a Sunday, September 19th at 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific right here on CBS or on the Viacom CBS streaming service that's Paramount+. Plus.